Com. Hey, Shabbat Shalom with the GMS Louisiana Saints in New Orleans camp. Here to bring y'all a Shabbat lesson. Prior to get started, we're going to give infinite honors and prayers too. Double honors to the elders of Great Millstone who taught us this truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect and also to you, Akim and Akwa, who, who believe in this truth. So tonight, we're just going to happen a you know, a good a good lesson for I forgot uh what I wanted to uh just a, a reminder something that you that you that we need to always be reminded of is that it's something at the end of all the suffering that we're going through okay it, it's a reward Yahweh Shai is Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai is, is coming with a reward you know along with destruction beforehand but afterwards, it's an everlasting reward that we're going to, you know, we're going to leave with. Okay. So you go, you can uh, kick me off with that, that uh, Matthew. I'm what? Okay. This is the gospel according to St. Matthew, chapter 19, verse 27. It says, Then answered Peter and said unto him, Behold, we have forsaken. We have forsaken all and followed thee. What shall we have there for? Con. So again, we we have forsaken all. You know, we we don't we don't deal with the things that we used to in the world. Okay, it's it's many things that we have embraced in this truth of becoming better men. You know, better better servants of Yahweh by Shimei Shai. Okay, and what what shall we receive after? You can keep going. And Yahweh said unto them, Verily I say unto you, that ye which have followed me in the regeneration, when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory, ye also shall sit upon twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. Done. And that's 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 part of the reward. We're gonna be the, the judges of, of the uh of our kingdom. Of of uh of our, of our new kingdom, okay? And let me see, said that ye which have followed me in the re regeneration when the son of man shall sit on the throne of his glory. So, you know, the regeneration, that goes into uh, another topic in itself of us that, you know, Lord willing, we have of that number. We walked with Yahweh by Shemiel Shah once upon a time. And, you know, with here in these days now, about to obtain the reward that is going to come, you know, after after this enduring, you know, this this spiritual and physical battle that we're going through out here. Uh, you could go to uh, twenty nine. Okay. It says, and everyone that have forsaken houses or brethren or sisters or father or mother or wife or children or lands for my name's sake shall receive a hundredfold. And shall inherit everlasting life. Come, and again, this is this is a, a comfort scripture. Okay, it, it we we need to be comforted by this to understand that whatever we put on the back burners right now, we're going to gain a hundredfold afterward. Okay, so you know they have they have men who 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 have trouble accepting in this truth that you know that you're not supposed to give your children that much attention or so that you're not supposed to you know constantly just be over overtaken with with the the, the fleshly things of this world okay the how about shimmy how shy has to always come first and again that's the reward behind it it's 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 a hundredfold and we shall receive everlasting life okay Uh, you could just hit 30. That'll be it on that one. Con, it says, but many that are first shall be last, and the last shall be first. Con. So, again, many that are first shall be last. Okay? And the last shall be first. So, we're, we're going to, you know, we're going to be back on top again, man. Okay? It's, it's, it, it, we're losing to overcome. Okay? Just, just of uh, what we, we, we are, uh, you know, constantly making ourselves a sacrifice, 
you know, constantly putting off things in this world just to lose in this world, but again, to overcome and obtain the, the blessings, the, the everlasting life that, that is, you know, promised upon us. Any of your brothers got a precept or anything? I got some. I got right, some. You can run it, bro. Come on, this is a rock 20. The point is in 10. I'm going to read nine. It says, there's a sinner that has success, that had good success and evil things, which we are the righteous. Okay, we pack ourselves on being the righteous so we can have success in righteous things. All right. It says, and there is a gain that turned into a loss, which the gain that we done had on this side, all right, is ultimately lost because we have what? We have died in, in and for you, I was shy. So ultimately, one would say if you die, that's a loss. All right, but we have a gain that turned to a loss on this side, man. All right, but ultimately, it says there's a gift that shall not profit thee, right? And a gift that we have is profitable, as you read in uh, Revelation 20, 20, 11, all right? Because this same gift, okay, going to uh, herald in the kings that's going to occupy thrones, set thrones of David, man, all right? But through the gift of the Lord, which is mercy first and foremost, that we be able to what? Uh, uh, be called into that stand as kings. It says... There's a gift that shall not profit thee, and there's a gift whose recompense is double. You got it, bro. Come. You know, that, that was a beautiful scripture, bro. Um, let me see. Just to expound on that, and there's a gift whose recompense is double, all right? That recompense, which is a payback. So there's a re reward. As the scriptures speak about for us, man, there's a reward on top of a reward. All right. I, I forget exactly where the law speak about that re reward at. All right. If you do this work, so we're going to get double recompense, man. We're going to get a double payback, man. Because why? We lost over here and what we should have been getting paid over here. All right. We're going to get it all back and some in the kingdom. Like you say, some uh, 20 full, 100 full. All right, that's that recompense. That's double. You got it, bro. Con. Uh, Salah, you could run that uh that James one and twelve for me, and you could you could hit your precept after that, bro. Con. It's the book of James, chapter one and verse twelve. It says, "Blessed is the man that endure temptation, for when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life." which the Lord had promised him, so like it, which the Lord had promised to them that love him. Come And again, in this life, in this flesh, we are tempted in many ways, okay? It's, it's, it's many things that could lead our mind astray, but at the end of the day, we need to continue to fight. We have to continue to fight and we have to overcome, you know? Again, you, our minds have to always be comforted by these scriptures to know that, it's, it's something beyond this thing that we can't even fathom, okay? But you could, you could uh, run your precept, brother. Con, and to expound on what you were just saying, you know, a scripture said there's no words that can describe the kingdom of heaven, all right? And that's something that's coming to the men that endure this thing. You know, we all been, been, you know, gifted with things in the world, well, it was a it was a nice gift, you know, and it was it was unexpected. But it's this thing that we coming into, right? The kingdom of heaven is gonna overtake us daily, right? The the it's gonna be a gift that just keep on giving. It's gonna be no end to it, right? But I got a quick uh, precept. This is the book of Romans, chapter eight and verse sixteen. It's an old but goodie is the spirit itself bearing witness with our spirit that we are the children of Yahweh, all right? We are those, we are those, those uh, angels, all right? That walk with Yahweh Shah, that built these, you know, everything that you see out outside, okay, the heavens, the waters, things of that nature. Lord willing, we are of that number. In verse 17, it says, and if children, then heirs, 
heirs of Yahweh and joint gotcha. heirs with Mashiach. All right, we up next to rule, right with Yahweh Shai. Okay. okay, we um pretty much we suffered with Yahweh Shai. So how much more being glorified with Yahweh Shai when it when it's his turn to rule? Okay. Wow. It says if so be that we suffer with him, that we may be able to be like him. If so be that we suffer with him, that we may be able to be also glorified together. It says, for I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. Done. And it says, you know, pretty much the sufferings that we go through are just, they, they minuscule. Mm -hmm. All right. It's not, it's not even to be compared to one day in the kingdom. All right. One wow. second in the kingdom. We go through these things cheerfully because we understand that it's a reward that we're coming to. Okay. Hey, uh, Kaya, Salaka, Kaya, you could give me uh Hebrew six and ten, Salaka, brother. You got it. Nah, you got it, bro. That was that was it. All I had. Oh, con, con. You know, all in all, you know, we we have to. You want to say something, brother? Oh, okay, Salaka. Um. Yeah, all in all, you know, we have to bear our cross, you know. We have to go through and, and suffer just as our big brother did, our Lord and Savior, how about Shemyal Shah, you know, to 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 recompense our reward. Okay. But uh again, it, it's not gonna go, you know, it's not gonna uh go unknown, okay? We're not doing this in, in vain, okay? We we definitely know. We believe 100% in these scriptures, and the Lord promised that to us, okay? And Kayal, you can run the Hebrews for me, Baba Kasha, huh. 6 and 10. That's the book of Hebrews, chapter 6, verse 10. It says, for our power, which is Yahweh, is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love. Come huh. you, you can keep going. Which ye have showed towards his name. And that ye have ministered to the saints and do minister. So have a priest. Come. And like I said, he is not unrighteous to forget our works. Okay. So, you know, I was just watching a brother uh Quara Bad out there in Houston, you know, about putting up our, our spiritual bank account, you know, so we can have things that we'll be able to withdraw in a time of need, you know. But overall, us putting in that spiritual bank account, the Lord is not going to, he's not going to forget it. Okay. We, we, we're going to forever have that account up there as long as we continue to do righteousness and to do everything to the best of, of our ability and continue to endure. You know, the Lord is not going to forget about our bank account. Okay. We, we, we're going to be ever forever cashed in into the end of this thing. Okay. You keep going, bro. Yeah. It's, uh, that's a rock twenty and twelve says that is there is uh that uh there's that buy much for little and it repaid it sevenfold. So like you say, our work and labor and righteousness over is but little to the Lord. Yeah, we may say it as old oh, brothers got great works. You know, they got the elder and apostles 35, 40 years, brothers 20, 15, 10. Yeah, to us, you know, it looked great, but the Lord, like that's but little, man. All right, and I'm gonna repay y'all sevenfold. The Lord, you know, you you do a little for the Lord. Hey, the Lord will, will save you and your whole family, man. Because it's a great bro. work, right? But according to our power, everything is is uh is minute, it's small, man. Our righteousness is built, it's little. All right, to the Lord. So he said as a, that buy it much for little, but it repaired it sevenfold. So that's what we're looking for, you know. I just want to make that point real quick. On the chat. It says... You want to say something? No, you got it. You got it. It's like it. It's 11. 16 and 11, it says, and we desire it that every one of you do shoot the same diligence to the full assurance of hope until the end. Huh. You know, we, we all got to obtain our own crown. Okay? We all got to, you know, we got to keep on keep on working you know, until the whistle blow, until, 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 you know, the horns ring, you know?
and it says, show the same diligence. You know, we got to remain locked in, okay? Remain locked in and, and keep it pushing, okay? And like I said, that this has to be always in the back of your mind is that, again, we're not doing this for nothing, okay? Baba Kasha, brother, let me yeah. go to 15 because... This this promise, an oath that was made to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, brother. This is what we're still speaking about to this day, man. All right, the Lord then made a promise, right? So, so the Lord said we do show the same diligence and full assurance and hoping to the end. This is what lies in the end. All right, that's why the Lord said, "Mark the perfect man for the end of that man is peace." Right now, we don't have a peace. All right, that we we we're gonna get in the kingdom of heaven, but it's sure to come. All right, and the Lord promised that that it will. It says, 13, for when God made promise to Abraham, this heavy, because he could swear by no greater, he swear by himself. Now the Lord put us under commandment that we can't swear, but the Lord swear. All right, so when you go into the context of that, all right, the Lord getting busy, man. All right, it says, he swear by himself. Saying, surely blessing, I will bless thee, and multiplying, I will multiply thee. Which he told Abraham, he should, you know, be a great nation. It says, and so, after he had patiently endured, which is the point, then he obtained the promise, man. You got it, bro. He obtained the promise. And again, going back uh, in verse. After, after he, after he, make sure you throw that in there. After yeah. he endured, after go ahead. Yeah, I could we can't you now. Elder, want to say something? I appreciate it real fast. Oh, con, con, you were running. This Philippians 3 and 8 gave doubtless and found all things but lost for the history of the knowledge of Yahweh Shah, my shot, my Lord, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things and do count them but dumb. That I may win Mashiach and be found in him, not having my own righteousness, which is of the law, but which is through Mashiach, the righteousness which is the hour by faith. Because having all these other things is not going to quote unquote uh, save you, man. You got to have the full pack of works, all right? Faith, all right? You got to have a full package of. Uh, of, of them all, then it's still it's still up to the Most High, man. You know, that's why we we are the hope we hope to be saved. We hope, but until then, it's a a, a, prep, a plethora of things that must be accounted for of us, man. All right? Yes. Uh, like I say, faith without works is dead. You got to have faith. You got to have the works to show behind it, man. And it shows that you have faith. By pushing the word, man, I'm not open. We're not, we're not sitting here. Yeah, I believe in how much that, but you at home. Yeah, I believe in uh, Most High, but you somewhere. When it comes to doing the work, you got your motherfucking stinking ass in the club somewhere, man. All right, you in the fucking mall, right? You somewhere sitting on a fucking uh, dog, a dog kennel, all right. Shirtless <laughs> with motherfucking dreads talking. <laughs> Niggas don't have shit behind what you're talking about, man. We really believe, we're really serious about this thing. The ambition and the fire that we have is proven. Man. I read it, hey man, we are men of valor. We have works behind this, man. You got cats out here that say they, they prophets and teachers, and you ain't doing shit. Count, I mean, count this numbers of fucking weeks you ain't doing a goddamn thing, all right? We're sitting, we're sitting on your ass, man. Well, hey, we're going to be persecuted. How are you going to get persecuted? How? How the fuck are you going to get persecuted when you ain't, you ain't doing shit? I'm talking about your prophet, though, man. You scared to come to fucking, you scared to be amongst men in a camp, all right? You scared to do the works. You scared to wear a garment. You scared to be on camera. So what are you doing? You bullshit, man. There's a lot of you guys in New Orleans bullshitting. 
God. Within Louisiana, from from Freeport, fucking Monroe, Ruston, Lake Charles, fucking uh, uh, Lafayette, and all these other little small rinky dink fucking towns, man. Appaloosa. Appaloosa. Poor shit, man. When it comes to teaching this word, and you think you're supposed to get a fucking reward, man, you niggas crazy, man. Come. What are you going to get when you ain't putting nothing in, man? Where what war are you gonna get when you ain't a part of, you ain't part of the, the, the body? I taught myself Israelite. I'd rather be about my on my own Israelite. You 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 missed the whole you 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 miss everything, man. You missed the whole picture, my man. All right, and I get you know, you get heated. What is all this fucking demons, man? On the comment board. No, block them. And in the back, and you got these motherfuckers on here talking about sexfine.info. <laughs> demon. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's demon. Yeah, they be on everybody's videos, too. Come yeah. on, brother. Some of you niggas out there trick or treating right now, man. <laughs> what a fuck? Wow. I'm talking about you. <laughs> you said I'm like a trick or treat. <laughs> For real, oh, bro. With, nah, the, with this true. video plan, too, brother. With a garment. Yeah, yeah, with a garment of the French. Niggas is crazy, man. Well, since, if I could say this, Elder, Bob Gasha, if I could say this, you know, with the the, the the Israelites popping right now, you know they got niggas dressing up like prophets, man. Mocking the yeah. prophets, going to Halloween, man. Yeah. You got to know that. Mm -hmm. Right? You got the the the, the Kyrie, the Yi, the Baco going on. Now you, one thing about people, they need a storyline that they can mock and do. So what's better storyline than a, uh, you know, uh, disguise themselves or put on a costume, right? Because in the latter days, all right, men should be lovers of themselves, mockers of, of that which is righteous, all right? Yeah. So the, you know they got an Israelite, a nigga that put a garment on, be, you know, be an Israelite, be a, it, trying to be a, you know, a fake Israelite, man. But just don't know the persecution coming. Them niggas go uh he gonna get your ass for faking like you was an Israelite. Go ahead, Doc. That's why the Lord struck that nigga that was with Mike Epps down, man. Mike uh -huh. Epps playing like the Israelites, rolling up on people and shit. And the Lord Lord killed his ass, man. Hey, if any of you niggas out there doing that, I hope the, the Lord strike you down, man. Just uh -huh. get a fucking mass Halloween nigga to run over your ass or something, man. On the sidewalk. Right, you know, hey man, it's, it's playtime is over with, man. The, That's the right. Kingdom of heaven, which his brother is going into, are going to be given to righteous men, men that have put in, I mean, works on top of works, man, and shown the highest, the highest, the highest form of faith. The Lord ain't giving this to no no slackers, no bullshitters, half steppers. All right. Israelite thuggers, you niggas thugging and you Israelite. You niggas want to fit hip hop, thuggery, smoking. I mean, you, yeah, I see you niggas, man. Yeah, I see Paul T on with the fringes, with the border of blue. You got you got the wits in your head, like like from Florida, but you you from New Orleans. Hey, who who you with? I took myself, you know what I mean? Niggas is crazy, man. You you self-proclaimed Israelites, man. And you see these cats all over. You know, there ain't no reward for that shit, man. Like I always say, the Lord ain't looking for no no uh no uh he looking for sheep of his foe. He ain't looking for no thugging sheep, man. You niggas wanna be thugs and gangsters in the world. You wanna mix all this up, man. And that's why you got what you call the uh the hip hop culture, man. Which ain't, ain't even a culture. This shit is it's, it's a it's a delusion. You want to how you, you run them, bring it to the world. And like I say, talking about no particular person, but if your ass hurt, it, it hurt them. Go ahead, I. Come on. Hey, Kashab, you holding that, that Revelation 22 still? Yeah, I still got you, it. You could bring that out right now, brother. <laughs> All right, this is uh, Matthew's. No, Matthew. It's Revelation 22 and 12. It says, and behold, I completely. Salak, Salak. 
Hit, hit 11. Hit Start 11. 11. Uh, right. Yeah. It says, he that is unjust, let him be unjust still. And he which is filthy, let him be filthy still. And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. And he that is holy, let him be holy still. Con, you know, backing up what you were just uh, talking about, Elder, you know, they got the Jakes out here who 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 believe that they doing the work, but it ain't nothing but wickedness that they, they involve themselves with. You know, nothing but folly and bullshit. So you know the Lord is letting them know, like, okay, keep on, keep on what you what you doing, okay? Now you can uh, hit twelve, brother. Verse hey, twelve it says, it's a lot. You Israelite, you you fighting your damn mind, man. <laughs> you look, you see? bullshit. I know, I know, like I said, it's a couple of guys like that right now. I can, I can visualize you niggas on my right on the sidewalk with candy, a bucket of candy. <laughs> the whole galore on, man. The whole get up on right now, man. Supporting the black community. Huh? Supporting the black community. Yeah, supporting the community, niggas, man. <laughs> you know, tomorrow, they, they, they swapping down the intro, man. You, know, you, you can't even get started with this, man. You just you, you in your mind. You just gone, man. <laughs> then you want to. Then you got you an Israelite. Then you a scoffer. You want to come in and scoff against men that are actually doing the works, man. Go ahead, Doc. <clears throat> oh, this Revelation twenty-two and twelve. He says, "And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me." To give every man according as his work shall be. Huh. And like I said, back in our uh, verse 11, he said, It's the men that are going to get their reward for being righteous, that's being holy. Okay. But there's also men who reward is going to be death. That, that's, that's, that's continue to fuck around and do nothing but, but bullshit. Okay. Bullshit. Got a million goddamn excuses, man, to why it is. Uh, teaching the word, man. The sound doctor got a million excuses on the various other issues, man. Do just do the work. You know, it's, it's we don't need no no need for the tongue wrestling. All right, all this shit among just go do the work. Clearly, right. Even when even when 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 men don't agree. All right, when men don't agree. It's no. I mean, we did that, done that back. There's no need for all the. The videos and the, the back and forth, just do the works. My best, you know, you know, you, you, you know, you're, you know, decent. But my best wishes to you. But go, just do the work, man. I'm out. Just yeah. be, see that. You know, whatever happens down the line happens down the line. But as men, we, this is as much as this is the most important thing that the work's being taught correctly. All right, our the image that we are there pushing is done correctly, man. Precise and, and with precision, even in, even the teachings, man. All right? We ain't, hey, hey, man, I'm telling you right now, if you're a clown, or if you are you a character, don't come around us, man. You, if you're not wanting to receive these, like you're going into the rewards of the kingdom, you want to help? You don't want to help me, other brothers get on the on them chairs? Don't come around us. This is plain. Cause you gonna get sought out anyway. I'm gonna tell you right now. I'm brothers right. Are talks, brothers are keen to. I'm keen to the bullshit. Just don't come around us, man. It's best that you continue being uh, Jody or whoever it is you out there in the world. Cause the shit not gonna work. And that's why a lot of you cats are afraid to come into camp because the discipline. You can't. You just can't do it. You wanna be. You wanna be uh, the Israelite brother today, and then once the camera's off or tomorrow. You wanna you wanna be Tyrone, man. I wanna hit the feet. All right. I wanna bag the honeys. What's ain't nothing wrong with that? But you I'm talking about you wanna get you wanna get uh you wanna get the bag. All right. You wanna you wanna get that that uh what's the word man? The uh the high praises of the world, man, and the people that you used to run with the world. How do you cats don't want that to go? But go ahead, I <clears throat> Huh. Uh, Kaya, you still holding that Hebrews six? 
I'll get it for you, brother. Uh, yeah, I'm still working for you, too. I'm still up. Yeah, hold on. Right. Up. Right. One of y'all mics rubbing against our clothes. Making a lot of noise. Whoever got mics in their ear or something like that. You gotta fix you gotta fix your mic or your headset or whatever. Just rub it against your clothes or the pages. Or it might be. It's gotta be a brother who got the air bugs in. I got the six though. Uh Con, uh you you can run your preset right quick. Um Kalai, you say you got a quick one? No, uh Samaki. Samaki. I'm gonna say Samaki got something too. Oh, kind, kind. Yeah, y'all, y'all brothers can run it. All right, it's Hebrews 11 and 6. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. And it's talking about the Mosa. Like I'm saying, you niggas ain't got no faith. You just hiding in the house. You know, you don't want to come out to the block, wherever. It ain't even got to be his camp. It could be any block. You know, you, when it boils down to it, you niggas just ain't got no faith, man. You just want to. You know, do a part-time thing. You don't believe you're going to be protected when you come out to the block. You know, you're just doing this because you want to be the smartest nigga in the bunch of niggas, man. You know? Oh, you want to be a one-up nigga. Oh, I know. I'm shitting on you because I know I'm Israelite. You you don't know you're Israelite, do you? Them type of niggas. It's mostly. <laughs> when I open amongst the blind, that's who you want to be. Yeah. You want to be perfect. Uh, <laughs> the deepest mm -hmm. nigga in the barbershop. Yeah, yeah, that's it. If you do, like you said, if you do disagree, you don't want to be with the camps, why you don't go on a corner and start your own camp? Start your own shit. Yeah, they wouldn't even mm. do that, though. It's like, all right, you don't agree with us. You don't owe the camp. Niggas is wicked. This is, all right. Well, why you don't go start? Or uh, you teaching this to everybody could come in, the great multitude. Why you don't go on a corner and teach them? Oh, teach it every day, like every day, mm -hmm. teach it and inform the people. Because if there's some heavenly uh reward that people is gonna get, it will behoove you to teach it, right? I mean, we're not teaching the rewards, like bro, just go teach it, all right. And if it be of God, it will happily what if it if it's not of God, it will come to north. If it is, you'll get a following you. You know, whatever the case, you could get a following and it, it could not be of the most high, dude. So it's whatever. But go ahead, I'm wise. Yeah, if we, we're so evil for teaching that the Lord's only dealing with the elect, the Lord's dealing with the multitude, go teach the multitude. Go in a yeah, crowd of niggas, go in a crowd of crazy jakes and teach the truth. Put it on camera. And, you know, if the Lord is with it, hey, maybe yeah. we'll perform a miracle on camera. Who knows? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just go do it. Yeah, just go yeah. do it. That's what you believe in. Uh, we we teach, therefore we speak. We speak because we believe. So right. this is what we believe in. So this is what we teach. If it's something you believe in that's con on the contrary of what we believe in, which we believe we have the sound, pure doctrine of Yahweh, why Yahweh shy, then you go do your thing and we going to see. Okay. You got to take that leap of faith. I still got some more in this pre-sale line. You got it. And it says, for he who comes to Yahweh must believe that he is. But yeah, you got to acknowledge, man, there's a power out there who created the heavens and the earth and everything in between. You know, and even your black ass, you know, you got to believe that, man. You know, but Jake, you know, they part-time believers, you know, they want to be uh, weekend prophets or whatever the case may be. You know, they want to come out. They got the menorahs all lined up. You know, you turn on the video, they got the menorahs all in the room. You know, you can't even see them. So many uh, incense burning and all this kind of shit. <laughs> you know, they got all the they got all the beaded necklaces. Mm -hmm. But hey, like you say, when the camera go off, all that shit goes in the corner, and they out there doing whatever. You know, Hi. the Lord is so crucial with the Lord. The Lord have opened up so many platforms to represent Him. All right, mm -hmm. in the end, you can. If you don't like to be with people and you one of them people that believe, look, everybody teaching the wrong thing. I got the right thing. You have an individual platform you can go on. You can create a YouTube page, an mm -hmm. Odyssey page. Like, Bit you can shoot. just a bitch shoot. Hey, the Lord work. made it to well. He have opened up his word, all right, to every person. You can, you can be a person who never read and write before. And you can talk about the Lord. So 
You can do it every day, all day. You could be jobless, lifeless, and just talk about the Lord all day. But men would rather critique the men who actually have works getting busy than to do something their own self, man. Do some work so we can critique you. That's all we saying. All right, since you like to critique, this the word, all right, have some works where you could be critiqued. Create a platform, all right? Not only we do we do it with men, we have individual YouTube pages that we what? We get busy for the Lord with, man. That's right, brother. Go ahead, I'm a white. Yeah, they, they have the saying, nobody in history ever built a monument in honor of a critic. Nobody remembers mm -hmm. critics' names. When you get to the... When you get to the kingdom of heaven, the 144,000 are going to be the men that are doing the works, not the men that are nitpicking about how he he brought it out this way. He broke that mm -hmm. down wrong. Like, there's no reward for it. Well, there's, there's a reward, which is mm -hmm. death, but there's no righteous reward for being a critic of a prophet. Yeah. Damn. All monuments was put up on the what? On the schematics and the schemes of it. Now, they had people that came by where, oh, that, that statue too, too far to the left. It's to the right. Once it's erected, it's up, baby. All right, you can't, you're not going to take right, it down. You want to move it. All right, just like we're monuments. We are erecting it to this day. Like, man, I'm a why I did that lesson, man. You remember, you remember it, brother? Yeah, yeah. yeah. A monument, is, once it's up, it's up, man. All right. Nobody cares about, hey, like you say, nobody cares about who's critiquing what. At the end of the day, put your works up. You don't even have mm -hmm. works to be critiqued. Like, you don't got nothing to critique. At least in a roundabout way, have something where it could be a, a level playing field. Mm -hmm. All right? That's like you calling the shots at a job and you don't have a fucking job position, man. Go ahead, I. Mm -hmm. right, I got a little bit more on it. You got it. And, and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. Got it, I. Got it, man. Con, you, con, you know, all in all, you know what y'all are saying about these men, they, they, it's clear as day that they only want the clout in the, what's the saying? They, they want acknowledgement from other men. They don't want the Seen acknowledgement the from the Lord. Scene of yeah, men. Con, con. Like, it's, it's, it's obviously, what do you say? Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm about to get the priest out. Oh, oh con, con. Yeah, a lot of men, you know, they out here doing vain work just to please other men and please Eve. You know, mm -hmm. like that's that's something that's that's far away from my mind. We're trying to we're trying to, you know, bring knowledge, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding to our people, you know, for first and foremost to ourselves, so you know, we could get our crowns, but also we're trying to teach our people in in the eyes of pleasing the Lord. Yeah, how about Shimmy our shot? But uh, I got it. Con, you can run it. This Matthew 23 and 5, it says, but all their works they do for to be seen of men. They make broad their phylacteries and enlarge the borders of their garments, man. Mm. And, that, and most of these, like you say, most of these niggas won't be seen to know something. Oh, I, mm. I, 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 know, I know more. Oh, I taught you. Or this or that. At the end of the day, Wisdom is in his own category. Every man, on, every man on this camera can tell me something I don't know. So now do that make them wiser than me? And then I can tell them something they don't know. So now who's wiser? In other words, wisdom is not comparable like that, brother. Now, yeah, we have different levels, all right? But at the end of the day, we should be comparing wisdom. If you can tell a man that's wise something he don't know, now what? Are you wiser than him? Did you add to him? Like at the end of the day, a wise, a wise word, no. all right, a, a man would add to it. He would commend it and add to it. And that's it. All right. If wisdom is you, you can't count it. All right. You gotta understand that now. Okay, what should I be going towards? All right. Those things that are more profitable. I got more wisdom than you. Or I started before you. Or I read more chapters than you. Okay. The end of the day, man, we striving for righteousness, man. Go ahead, Bayan. Con, uh, you still holding that Hebrew six? We could uh finish off with that, but I I want you to start at eleven. Start back at eleven, Bubba Kasha. 
It says, and we desire that every one of you do shoot the same diligence to the full assurance of hope until the end. Con, that discipline, okay? We, we went into that, of the discipline of, of obtaining our, our hope and salvation, you know, through, through our works, through, you know, through our faith and our works, okay? But uh, you could hit 12. It says that ye be not slothful, but followers of them who through faith and patience inherit the promises. Huh. First and foremost, not being slothful. Okay? We're not trying to lack and do any type of bullshit with our works. Okay? We're trying to do everything to the best of our ability, and we're trying to show our works to Yahweh Shema Shai, you know? In hopes of our salvation and in, in, in hopes of the reward to come. Okay? And we... we we want to be followers of them who through faith and patience inherit the promises, okay? And the promises is, is to the hopeful elect. The one-third of the, the hopeful elect, okay? And, you know, that's that's based from being from our forefathers, like it's about to go into a 13 that we were just talking about uh, previously, that the promises was given through Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, okay? But uh, you can hit 13. It says, from when God made promises to Abraham, because he could, <clears throat> because he could swear by no greater, he swear by himself. Come on. And we talking about the, the greatest power ever, man. Our power. A power that cannot lie. Okay? And he swore by himself. So, come on, man. What, what, what the New Yorkers say, the word is bond. You know? Mm -hmm. That... We the Lord is is if the Lord swore by Himself, it's like come on, what what else could you ask for? Okay, and uh, you could hit fourteen and fifteen. It and says, saying, saying, surely blessings I will bless thee, and multiplying I will multiply thee. Come, on. blessings in being multiplied. You know, the blessings are being multiplied, and we're going to be be. Are going to be multiplied, okay. In uh, verse fifteen, and so after he had patiently endured, he obtained the promise. And again, that's exactly what we need to be doing right now: patiently enduring through this madness, through this bullshit, through these these constant obstacles that's constantly been thrown at us, so we can inherit, inherit the the uh, the promise, obtain the promise. And again, you know. Just a quick reminder, if, if you know, if we got some some new watches or new followers or so, come on, man, it, it's going to be everlasting peace. You know, it's not going to be no more war. We want to be able to have as many children as we want, and we're going to see the fall of our enemy. Like somebody who 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 has been getting the upper hand on us for the past five hundred years. You know, and then some. A lot of these nations. We're, we're going to see the fall of a lot of these nations, but specifically, you know, Esau, Edom, seeing the downfall of him. This is something that's, that's, that's in the promises of Yahweh Bashim al that that is a reward that we can obtain. You, you got a, uh, that precept still, Kalai? Uh, it's um, Second Ezra chapter 2. And I'm gonna get straight to the point because Yakana, he was the elder Yakana was kind of going into it. You know, you still got niggas who want to have that have that image within the world, all right? And there's no room for that when you're serving the Lord. But this uh, second Ezra is two and 44, it says, So I asked the angel and said, Sir, what are these? He answered and said unto me, these are they that have put off the mortal clothing, all right? That mortal clothing, that image, all right? Want to be that nigga for, you know, lack of better words in this world, man. All right? It says, and put on the immortal and have confessed the name of Yahweh, right? Doing the doing the the deeds that I say in the scriptures that the prophets will be doing in these last days, 
All right, that's how you know who's doing the real work and who's true uh, and, and who's false. You gonna you can match up the scriptures to those that are doing it. All right, that's how you prove who are the 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 prophets of the Lord and who are doing them who who doing it. All right, it says and have confessed the name of the Lord. Right, hey, we confess the name of the Lord out here on the highways and byways. All right, to ourselves, to the elites, we stand and stiff for the Lord. Okay, not just when it's convenient for us. Nah, one hundred percent of the time, hey, we 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 stand and step for the name. All right, we confessing that name. Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. It says, "Now are they crowned and receive palms." That's right. And that's that's. I'm speaking for all the brothers on this on this screen and those that are sincerely watching. That's what we we look forward to, man. Being crowned and receiving palms, man, from Yahweh Shai. For standing stiffly and also for, for enduring, going back to the premise of this lesson. All right, enduring these these said perils and these these different temptations. But you got it, brother. Come on. And uh it was read read the uh the last line what you just read, Brother Bishon. You said something that like sparked something in my head I want to say. It says, and have confessed the name of Yahweh. Now are they crowned and receive palms. It was, oh, a little was that further the whole up. verse or was that just a... The, that was just a yeah, part. Kind of, I read the just hit that last. Yeah, love a good show. Um, second Ezra 4 and 45, it says, He answered and said unto me, These be they that have put off the mortal clothing and put on the immortal and have confessed the name of Yahweh." Now are they crowned and receive palms? Huh. That again, backing up uh land backing off what you just said, you know, putting off that, that mortal clothes and putting off everything that again that we used to do in this world, you know, that, that should be that old man should be you know beaten daily, you know. We're we're not gonna fully get rid of him in this flesh, but what we can do is constantly beat him down to better our chance. For that spiritual man, so we can gain, so we can gain our, our crown of salvation. Okay. Um, Ty, y'all, if you could hold, um, if you could hold Isaiah, or you, if you could get Isaiah two and two for me, Baba Kasha. Uh -huh. This is Isaiah chapter 2, verse 2. And it shall come to pass in the last days that the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established in the top of the mountain and shall be exalted above the hills and all nations shall flow unto it. Huh. This is this is what we're striving for. This this rulership right here. This because the, the, the mountains is is the mountains and the hills is going into the uh The brother frozen now. That's what we're going to be the judges. You breaking up, right? Wait, I'm a while. Yeah, Just finish. Cool. Yeah, the larger, the larger governments are, are mountains in the scriptures, and the hills represent smaller governments, and all governments are going to flow into the nation of Israel. We're going to teach the law, and that's a part of the reward, which the brother opened with, uh, with Matthew. We're going to be judging the 12 tribes of Israel, and we're also going to be judging the heathen. This this ministry comes with rulership. That's why we we stress discipline so much. That's why we, we stress wisdom in every lesson. Pretty much, you need these things to govern, to rule. It's That's not right. about just being a you know having the most goal, you know, just having you know orgies with concubines and all, all sorts of carnal things that Jake is looking forward to. Jake associates rulership with just being a being that nigga, like the brother said earlier. It's it's about feeding the flock. You got it. You look like you back. Y'all can hear me? Kind Kind. Kind. Yeah, beautiful point, huh? You know what I mean? Like it's that's this is this is what is gonna come with it, you know? We don't we don't understand how it feels to, to rule. To have, you know, did it mention 
Yeah, in, in verse two, all the nations are going to flow unto us. Everything has to come by us. All right, that that and that's that's come on, man. That's a beautiful experience that we have never ex experienced yet. You know, in this lifetime that we're in. But uh, you can keep going to verse three. Tell y'all. Come, it says, <clears throat> and many people shall go and say, "Come ye." And let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of the, to the house of the power of Jacob, and He will teach us of His ways, and we will walk in His paths. For out of Zion shall go forth the law and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. Yeah, you. Your uh, yeah. connection kind of crazy. You back now, I think. Y'all get me? Con, repeat what you just said. Con, uh, shit. You can read our, our verse uh, three again, Baba Gasha. All right. And it says, And many people shall go and say, Come ye, and let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of the power of Jacob. And he will teach us of his ways, and we will walk in his paths. For out of Zion shall go forth the law and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. Huh. A law full of righteousness. Okay? And it's again, they, they have to come to us because we're gonna have to give them the laws. You know, they're not they're not gonna be part of the, the, the new covenant. That new covenant is, is strictly for, for, for Israel, you know, you so-called Native Americans, Negroes, and Hispanics. All right. But again, this this is we're going to be getting that taste of rulership that everybody is going to lean upon us and we're going to do everything that we're supposed to do. We're going to rule the world how the world was meant to be ruled. And uh, you can finish it off at full, Kaya, Baba Kasha. All right. And he shall judge among the nations and shall rebuke many people. And they shall beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. Nations shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall they learn war anymore. Huh. Everlasting peace. War war won't be a, a, a thought of, of anyone's mind. It, it, it won't it won't be going on anymore. We're gonna that all that shit is gonna be cut short, cut down, no more. Okay? And again, this is just that taste of, of that 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 beautiful rulership that is to come, that reward. Okay, that, that reward is is again what you should be striving for, you know, for the love you how by Shimao Shah in the reward that he promised to you. You brothers got uh, any other precepts? I got one. You, got it. Come on, you can go. Come on, it's uh, Matthew 16 and 24. It says, Then say Yahweh shall unto his disciples, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. So like I said, it's not going to be about you, but you got to, like I said, you want to come in the same stead or walk the same path in which Yahweh shall walk, and you're going to have to bear that cross. All right? Uh, verse 25 says, for whosoever will save his life shall lose it. And whosoever will lose his life for my sake shall find it. So that's like you, like you opened up uh, in that first scripture. You know, we forsaken all. That's how we're going to gain it. All right. Mm. To, uh, to gain that reward. All right. And it says, for what is a, what is a man profited if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? So once again, if you get all the riches, you know, uh, you know, uh, all the things here and on this side, which we know the on this side it perishes. What have you really gained? All right, because we giving that up for something that doesn't perish, which is that reward, which is going to be in the kingdom. It's going to be everlasting. But you got it, right? Come on. beautiful. Uh... Kashab, could you get uh Sirach 25 and 7 for me? And uh Samakia, can you get Isaiah 60 and 20? Okay. 
I'm rolling yeah, down on my, my last few. Oh, Khan, Khan. Uh, you know? Sirach 25 and 7. It says, there will be nine things which I have judged in my heart to be happy, and the tenth I will utter with my tongue. A man that had joy of his children, and he that lived to see the fall of his enemy. Huh. So if you see, I'm, I'm rolling down a checklist of uh, the different awards that we know of in the scripture. Okay? So we know that we're going to have the rulership. You know, we're going to have everlasting life. We're going to have, uh, we're going to have full authority over, over the world. Okay? But now we're talking about seeing the fall of our enemy. Okay? And that's, that's going to be the most, one of the most beautiful things to know that it's, it's finally over. Imagine, you know, for the, the past 500 years, you, you constantly lost against a certain, a certain group of people. Okay, and you just never, you never could get your revenge. You never, you never could, could fully get the good back. It was always suffering after suffering after suffering. But at the end, we're going to see the fall of our enemy. Okay, and also we're going to see, we're going to be able to, to, to see uh, our children. You know, we're going to have multiple children. And I mean, life is just going to be beautiful, man. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm one of the brothers that, that don't have a, a child. But, you know, I, I look at it at a sense of like, damn, like, bro, like, I, I kind of be, be wanting children. I'd be, I be missing out sometimes. But I also have to constantly remind myself that, okay, like, this is not the time to have it right now. This is not the time to have children, okay? But in the kingdom of heaven, man, go crazy, all right? And you're going you're gonna to be able to enjoy, you know? You're going to be able to enjoy every single one of your children, know everything about them, and have no, no, no worry about them. Okay. Uh, Samaki, you can run the Isaiah 60 and 20. Baba Okay, it's Isaiah 60 and 20. That sun shall no more go down. Neither shall thy moon withdraw itself. For the most thou shall be thy everlasting light, and the days of thy morning shall be ended. Huh. The days of our morning shall be ended. No more. The only tears that we're gonna drop is tear of tears of joy, tears of laughter. Okay, it's it's like it's it's not gonna be no more pain. The pain is gonna be completely erased away, man. And again, this is something that we we have to remind ourselves of what we're striving for. You can keep okay, going. Yeah, okay. and you can also can go into that, you know, sun and moon too, you know. Also being, you know, son, wisdom, you know, and we always have um, wisdom in the kingdom and the moon, you know, we always have knowledge, you know, every, everything will be programmed in our inward parts, man. God, right. the water. So we, we always going to be in the know, you know, we're always going to have these laws and statutes and commandments programmed in us. Con, con. Yeah, it's the water. Good catch, brother. Okay, okay, con, I was uh, holding that Jeremiah 31. You could you could uh, bring it out real quick. Yeah, I just uh, get to the point. Is Jeremiah thirty one and thirty three? It says, "But this shall be the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days," said Jehovah. I will put my law in their inward parts and write it in their hearts, and they shall and will be their power, and they shall be my people. My people. Come. Huh. It's going to be in our inward parts. Everything is going to be natural. It's going to be uh, a, a natural flowing of, of righteousness. You know, no second thoughts, no second guessing. You know, for mm -hmm. our people, at least, you know, we still going to have to get the, the heathen in subjection with, with bullshit that they're going to try to pull. You know, they may try to pull some slickness in the kingdom. But, you know, as for the, the, the so-called Negroes, Hispanics and Native Americans, Hey man, we're gonna be straight. And again, mm. it's gonna be it's gonna be beautiful. If I could say real quick, brother, we gonna be made perfect, but they still they buy this, they still gonna be made into subjection. They're gonna still have to constantly fight against the flesh and mm -hmm. while all have to go after the ways of us, of the ways of the Israelites. They're gonna have to learn those laws and follow them, but they still gonna have to fight in subjection to their bodies, man. Why we're gonna be made perfect. What was that in uh 
back in Isaiah too. You know, like I said, they're gonna be they're gonna be following us. They're gonna they're gonna want to be as 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 glorious as we are. You know, we're gonna be those people. We're gonna be you know those men. All right. But uh, you can uh, finish uh, at twenty two for me, uh, Baba Gasha, with the Isaiah sixty. So like you. Okay, I got you. All right, this is verse twenty one. The people also shall be all righteous. They shall inherit the land forever. The branch of my planting, the work of my hands, that I may be glorified. Come. Huh. At the end of the day, you know, it's going to glorify you. How about Shemiah Shah? You know? Because what, what, without him, you know, none of this wouldn't happen. But since we are of the the uh of the chosen, you know, of of, of his his chosen nation, you know, we, we all always have to give infinite honors to him for you know eventually bringing us out of this place but overall like i said the people should also be should also be righteous of what we we're just going into you know the the, the law statute of commandments is going to be in our inward parts and uh you could you could finish it off at, with uh 22. okay and it says a little one shall become a thousand and a small one a strong nation Huh. I the a most little... I will hasten it. Oh, so like, you got it. No, you, you can finish it off. Like it. Okay, now. Okay, I the most I will hasten it in his time. Huh. Like it says, a little one should become a thousand and a small one a strong nation. So, you know what that means, man? We're going to be popping out children left and right. And again, it's going to be beautiful. You going to remember the name of all your children? Jake ain't going to be on child support because of it. You know, like what the mm -hmm. fuck is gonna be child support in the kingdom? That, that shit not gonna fucking exist. But we don't have that. We don't won't have a care in the world, man. We're gonna have our own nations of people of how much you know, how much pop are we gonna be doing in the kingdom? Okay. Mm -hmm. And this is like, man, it's gonna be it's gonna be a glorious time. But uh, my last precept that I have is um. I got something real quick, brother. Oh, Kyle, you can run it. Yeah, I want to add to what you were saying, too. Okay. If you do, Kaya, you got it. Uh, we probably have to look at Mark, too. We're at the one or two. So this is uh, James 5 and 7. It says, Be patient, therefore, brethren, until the coming of the Lord. Behold, the husbandman waited for the precious fruit of the earth and had long patience for it until he received the early and latter rain. You got it, brother. Huh? So it says, be patient, meaning what? Suffer. All right. To the coming of the Lord. Because it is a suffering. Because, you know, technically, when you know you're going to get everything, man, no one really wants to wait for that. You want it yeah. like yesterday, man. All right. Yeah. You don't want to wait up so it's a suffering. And the Lord knew that. All right. But the suffering is for the embitterment of it. All right. Because if He give us something, Right away, if you give a child something right away, you spoil them. All right. Mm -hmm. And then in the kingdom, we're gonna be spoiled. It's okay to be spoiled if it's in righteousness, brothers. All right. It's okay only if it's in righteousness. All right. That's it. Other than that, it, it'll bring about a, 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 a blemish in you. All right, a spot in you. It, it says, Behold, the husbandman waited for the precious fruit of the earth. We're the, you know. We're the Lord's husbandry, man. We're the husbandman that's working in the vine, all right, in the vineyard. And, uh, and out of the vine, all right, it says, and had uh, that waited for the precious fruit of the earth, man. We waited for the earth to be renewed, the kinos, the freshness of the earth, which also is an indication of the kingdom of heaven. Whenever the, the, the kinos or the, a fresh part of the earth is come, that's the kingdom of heaven, all right? They're, they're synonymous. It says, and had long patience for it. So brothers had long suffered. All right. Keep James like, look, brothers, keep waiting. It says, until he received the early and latter rain, man. All right. Which is the increase. All right. Which is the increase of the kingdom of heaven. You got it, bro. Uh, I'm well, right. Marie 8. It says, be also patient. Establish your hearts. 
right? For the coming of the Lord draw nigh. That's it. Samaki, you said you wanted to add something real quick, right? Uh, it kind of it kind of passed, but you know, I'm just backing up what you were saying about you know we be able to have all those kids and stuff that you know that we're going back to Israel, you know that land that we're going to inherit forever, man. You know, it ain't Africa. Like all these niggas love to say, like, oh, we going back to Africa, the motherland. No, it's Israel, man. You know, that's the mother of us all when you get down uh, to it. Uh, uh, we can end it off with this one right here. Unless y'all br brothers got anything else? I was say this too, because a lot of you cats, you left to go over there now. That's not the kingdom, man. You 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 over there in vain, really. Mm -hmm. Really go over there to get destroyed, because that, that land... That's right. In this in this in this modern age, all right. So you over there for nothing. All right. The kingdom of heaven is gonna be established right through the orders of Yahweh Shai when he returns, man. And the and the righteous elect appointed as the elect, all right, become the first fruits there. And everything becomes flow uh, flowing you know, according to the scriptures, like it said it's gonna do. When we get the forces of the Gentiles. Right, all those things, all those promises, and the building of the kingdom be established then. Other than that, you you know, you you played yourself, man. Congratulations. All right. You know, that's not the king <laughs> over there. It's not the kingdom. And a lot of you guys think, oh, I, I go put on so-called ancient Hebrew garb, walk around with the with the with the gutter wrap, the toilet curls, and go stand on the mountain with a with a staff like Moses. <laughs> Living up to me and you, that ain't the kingdom, man. And a lot of you yeah. guys see yourself. I see the videos and shit. The yarmulke on with the little yeah. small hat. <laughs> yeah. Shine. You yeah, man. in your own land. What kind of sense that made? <laughs> I'll kick in your ass and kick you out of there, man. That's right. Okay. So stop playing yourself, man. But that, that was it. Uh, yeah, I guess we can get this one real quick. Uh, I'm gonna just getting straight to the point. Well, uh, Matthew six, and uh, you can just hit the the points in thirty two, thirty two and thirty three. Let's say Matthew chapter six, verse thirty two. It says, "For after all these, for after all these, do the Gentiles seek?" For your heavenly Father knoweth that you have need of all these things, but ye seek ye first the kingdom of the Most High and His righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Huh? At the end of the day, you know that's what we need to strive for. Okay, we need a, we need uh, the the kingdom needs to be first and foremost. You know, at the 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 ahead of our mind. You know, at the the front the frontward part of our mind. If I'm saying that correctly, but you know, all in all. As long as we stay laser focused with everything, the Lord is going to add everything unto us that we could, again, that we could ever fathom. Okay. So at the end of the day, man, just lock in, lock in, be comforted by this. You know, we all understand that we, we all in positions right now that we don't like, you know, Jake don't like to get up and, and work. Jake don't like to hit the road for eight hours on a day, you know. Jake don't like to go to a store and see many things that I can't buy, but I want, you know, mm -hmm. the women, so on and so forth. It's, it's, it's many things that, that, you know, that the Lord knows what we like, but it's just right now we, we got to suffer. We got to suffer and we got to hold on until, you know, again, to that bell ring, you know, to the whistle blow. But all in all, you know, I just pray that you, you brothers are comforted by these scriptures to again to to understand the rewards because that's definitely a, a good good motivation to to keep pushing to to know that it's, it's many things after this you know it, it's definitely a bright light at the end of this tunnel but that's all i got y'all but it's good Con. Con. Yeah. Con. so i pray that this lesson was edifying prior to leaving we're going to give infinite honors and prayers too Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and salutation to the whole for your elect. And I pray that this uh, Shabbat lesson was edifying. Shabbat Shalom.
Bye-bye. 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 B